when you hear the term double standard, what do you mean? What, what do you, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? What's your definition? Uh, something that applies to one group of people but doesn't apply to all group of people. When okay. they're doing the same thing. Double standard, I feel like, is when usually compared to different genders, one person is allowed or is more acceptable for somebody to do something rather than the other person. The first thing that comes to my mind is equally yoked. Because a yoke is something that ox used to pull that plow through the field. And if I'm pulling and you're pulling, but your weight is harder than mine or less than mine, we're not equal in any way. I don't like it when you know, uh, depending on what's done, if it's if it's a male, especially a black male, um, it's looked at worse than it would usually be looked at if it was, you know, a, a different race or maybe even a different sex and shit. For like black males, it's like we get it, we get it tough as a motherfucker, man. Like, if, if I drink, if I don't drink this drink the right way. And I'm a black male, I might get looked at a certain way, so man. You know what I'm saying? They might give me hell, man. Well, I was just with my brother earlier today, and we were coming and we went on our way to Glory Dale's, or Glory Days, excuse me, mm -hmm. to get some takeout food. And so he was driving. Mm -hmm. I was simply going to be a passenger. He was paying for his own damn food. But the first thing that entered my mind was, let me get my ID. Because in my world as a black man, I cannot leave the house without identification because mm. I give the rest of the world an opportunity to define me. Be around here all the time, I run by, I got somewhere to go fast. White people be looking over their shoulder like I'm finna take their $12 clerks off mm. their feet and shit. And then they get to running behind me and I can't be startled. And you feel me? They got on some trainers and shit. They look like the fucking police every time they walk by me. I black. should be scared. Casual sex. Mm. Uh, I would go with the gender, and I hate to genderize things, but how it's okay for men to do certain things, and it's okay, but if a woman does it, it's looked at in a negative light. The only double thing that bothers me is that men can be hoes and women can't. Like they can be free. Like oh, girl, had sex with a nigga. Most people just go, but a nigga do it. You know what I'm saying? He the man, whatever. But it's like, yeah, that's just like that was that benefit. But y'all had seven that benefit y'all. So when a woman most times is having casual sex, they they call it um, a hoe face. Um, that's not necessarily what it is, but niggas do it all the time, and nobody. It's not even a label of anything. They don't call it anything because it's. I be bothered by the fact that a lot of women don't acknowledge the fact that they have way more, they get away with way more double standards than we do. Definitely in the workplace. Okay. Um, especially in today today's world, um, you know, with the Me Too movement, women are definitely benefiting from the double standard uh, BS, if you will. Uh, yeah, we can pretty much get away with just about anything. Straight up. All we gotta do is holler. Me too, and or, or something to that effect. He touched me, or you know, if we gonna get, if we want that office in the corner, whatever. Absolutely. I think I'm straight to the point. Depending on the situation, a man should not take care of a woman. It depends. If you notice what she's looking for, then no. I was raised, get your own, do your own, and if he comes along, that's a bonus. That's not your asset. Free drinks, getting out of ticket. I mean, it just comes to being a man in America. Like, 
men work my money than women. Uh, getting in the club, free sections, bottles. Me just being a man, like having a job, my dollar earns more than a black woman does. I just got free readers today because somebody wanted my numbers. Probably when I was working, man, uh, you know, I had a, a female that, uh, you know, she came up and I was working at the Sprint store and she, you know, I was selling phones and shit. So she came and she, you know, she was trying to, uh, she was basically trying to get her phone working on. But you know her 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 credibility is wasn't up to par. You know what I'm saying she ain't no showings, none of that shit was that like. So she flirted her way into getting me to fix the jump, man. For it. and you know I feel like it worked out in my favor because I got her number. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know I, I almost got lucky, but I ain't gonna get it deep in that because the camera on that I can't let him know everything. But I feel like it worked out in my favor because if it was a dude, I probably wouldn't have looked out for him, man. Never. Yes. As yes. A male. Yes. Wow. Yes, people. Because because it's it's always it's always easy it's always easier to be the underdog than to be do you feel what I'm saying? Than to be overestimated. When you look like this, people underestimate you all the time, don't know what you're capable of, think you like everybody else. So I say it's a double standard that worked in my favor. Oh, I'm a female rapper, so uh, it definitely works for me. And I mean, I, it's a gift and a curse at the same time. When I first started rapping, I had to work harder, like to let my voice be heard and like um, let them know that this is something I'm about. I wrote my own raps or whatever. But I feel like I have more access sometimes because people rather hear what I have to say than like 150 other dudes. Other dudes are going to say the same thing. Yeah, not even, yeah, yeah. I brought my family to the DMV after I left Shindan, Afghanistan in 2009 and my daughter was in one of the nationally ranked elementary schools in northern virginia and her classmates had a a ranking and i was voted most likely to be in a steel cage match wow. now the truth of the matter is there were parents that were policemen there were parents that were doctors there were professors i own a graduate degree but I'm voted most likely to be in a steel cage match. Black Santa, so, how so, Black Santa gonna be in the cage? Well, the only cage I have is my mind. But when I look at, did it benefit me? My strength is my weakness. So if you look at me and you feel fear, that's my strength. But if you look at me again and you are fearful of me, that's also my weakness in this side. A double standard to be done away with, even if it benefited me. Uh, very hypothetical question. Oh, that's a hard one. I think it's, it's situational because it depends. Because as a black woman, most double most double standards don't benefit us. So it's like you want to take away the little bit that we have. No. So would you want a double standard to be done away with, even if you benefited from it? No, no. We gotta keep them all and throw them all we out. Gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna put a, we gonna put a pin hey, in it. Hey, fuck it. Better the evil you know than the evil you don't know. Uh, uh, I'm gonna keep, keep it there. I'm gonna keep it there. Yeah. Honestly, yes, I would. That's called revolution. I want. Do I want revolution? Yes, I want revolution. I'm willing to give up my male power um, to for for the liberation of my people. That would be tight. I'm down for that. I'm down to let um, black women rule. So I'm a person that believes in what's equal is not always fair. Okay. So I kind of believe in double standards in the sense that, you know, we all walk with different sets of privilege based on who we are, where we live, um, what school we went to, all those type of things. If you look at it in, on the topic of race, absolutely, because my people are not benefiting <laughs> from the double standards. So if we could do away with it so we could be looked at as equal amongst everyone, absolutely. Why is it that? One out of every three brothers go to jail, but one out of every 17 majorities go to jail. Or why is it that um, although white males represent 
less than 31% of the population. They represent 72% of the elected officials. So they're the only ones with a voice in this country. Um, then my seeds coming up, of course, I have a son, I have daughters. So of course, if they could be looked at as equal instead of, oh, he's a boy or he's a man, let's give him more money or pay him more money to do the same job as his sister, you know, so. And then, um, I don't know. Like, like I said, right now I'm a woman, I'm winning. Because yeah. we benefit from it. Yeah. So yeah. I would definitely be BSing if I said, you know, anything other. Yeah, they are to maintain capitalistic status quo. I used to be in reserves when I was in college, and then women could not fight on the front line as men, but now they can. So that's one thing that I feel like they need to. But anything where a woman naturally can do it or isn't physically able to do it, but a man can, and it's been proven that he can and she can't, then of course. Like. Everything, like, I feel like millennials get a bad rap of being very sensitive and uh, always wanting people to cater to their needs and, like, their plight in life. And I'm kind of, it's whatever. Like, everybody got to, everybody got to struggle. Like, everybody has their own struggle that you don't know what they're dealing with. Like, if, any, if there was no struggle, nobody would do anything. Nobody would be great. Nobody would be nothing. So, a lot of the times, our disadvantages is what make us go harder. Uh, that extra muscle strength in another area. Hell yeah, double standards necessary. It gotta be, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be able to work your mojos, man. You, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I guess it's the way we was, you know, just the way the American way and shit is fucked up. I guess it's like it's almost like we we used like we never became accustomed to this shit. I don't think it'd be right if it wasn't. They're not necessary, however, they are innate. That people feel most comfortable with the people that look like them. People feel most comfortable with the people that they have a shared experience, a shared environment. And so it can't help but to create a halo effect where you're looking at the folks that come from your similar uh, socioeconomic background and you think that that is the norm as opposed to somebody else's reality.